Hey, good morning, YouTubers. This is Steve Bradley coming to you from the God Loves People YouTube channel. And I wanted to talk to you today about Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 through 48, which read like this. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven, for he causes his son, S-U-N in this case, to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Don't even the tax collectors do the same? If you greet only your brothers, what more are you doing than anyone else? Don't even the Gentiles do the same? Therefore, you are to be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Or if you prefer, uh, the word complete here fits as well. Now the interesting thing about this is to understand this passage, you have to look at two things. The first one <clears throat> is in verse 45. He says, so that you may be the sons of your Father who is in heaven, for he causes his son, S-U-N, to rise on evil and good and sends rain on righteous and unrighteous. And then in verse 48, he says, therefore you are to be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. So what's he really telling us? What he's really telling us is, it is our job to represent God to other people. And the way that we do this is by being like him. Now, it's wonderful to preach. And the Bible teaches that the, the feet of those who preach the gospel and bring glad tidings of good things, those are great people. And that is a great thing to do. It's a glorious thing to do. But the most important way that you show who you are in Jesus Christ is by the way you treat other people. And so here you have someone who is your enemy. What are you going to do with that person? Well, the Bible doesn't say you have to go give them a hug. It just says that you are supposed to do good to them. You are supposed to love them. And you're supposed to pray for those who persecute you. Because what happens is, when you pray for your enemy, there's a very good chance He's going to stop being your enemy and become your friend. That's the thing. So if you go back to what the Bible really says for us to do in this last few verses of Matthew chapter 5, what he's saying is, be like God so that you may be the sons of your father. Son is actually representative. In other words, you're a representative of your father. That's what the, that's what the concept means so that you may be the sons of your Father who is in heaven. And then he says, therefore you are to be perfect just like your heavenly Father is perfect. That's an amazing verse. What God is calling us to do is be beautiful people. People who represent him. People who represent his son. People who represent his spirit in the world that we live in. Paul has a fascinating way of saying this, and I want to refer you to it because it's in Romans chapter 12 over here. He says this. He says, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. If you are a good person, your goodness is going to touch many people. You won't touch everyone, and yes, you'll still have enemies. And sometimes they will try to do you great harm. I've had people who try to do me great harm. But if you pray for those who despitefully use you and persecute you, if you love your enemies and you treat them like you love them and treat them right, God will honor that. And he will give you an opportunity to win them over. Not always, but many times. So become like him. Become a son of your father who is in heaven, a daughter of your father who is in heaven. 
and let your goodness shine to whoever you meet, to whoever you know. Avoid making enemies, make peace as much as you can with all men, and love everyone you can. That is the message that God has for us in these last few verses of Matthew chapter 5 on the Sermon on the Mount. We'll move on to chapter 6 next time. I hope God is blessing you and filling your life with his joy and with his presence. God bless you today. This is Steve Bradley signing off for the God Loves People YouTube channel.